I want to talk about Atomic Blonde. Atomic Blonde. The new movie starring Charlize Theron and James McAvoy, um, directed by David Leach. Lech? Leach? I butcher that guy's name every time. Um, if you don't know, he is one of the directors of the original John Wick. Uh, the other director uh, went on to direct John Wick 2 and will be doing the upcoming Highlander reboot, if that ever gets off the ground, which I'll be interested to see that. That will be pretty sweet. Um, David Leach, we'll just say it's Leach. It's L-E-I-T-C-H. So it's somewhere around there. Um, Leach, he will be directing Deadpool 2. Um, so, yeah, he's a pretty good choice, I think, for that film. Uh, he directed the Deadpool short that was before Logan and is currently on YouTube in a somewhat extended format. Um, that is not a trailer, guys. That is not a trailer for Deadpool 2. It's driving me crazy uh, looking at YouTube and seeing all the Deadpool 2 things. It's not a trailer for Deadpool 2. It is a short. Think of the Pixar shorts that happened before, like the Pixar movies, where it's just, you know, it's a little encased story. Just a, It's a short. It's a Deadpool short. It's not a trailer. You're not having anything spoiled. In Deadpool 2, watching it, it's just to give you a taste and to remind you that, yes, Deadpool 2 is coming, and this is what it will probably look like. Um, I may do a review of that as well, but anyway, since it's not a trailer, I'm not, not going to talk about that today on Trailer Tuesday. I'm going to start with Atomic Blonde. So I watched the preview for Atomic Blonde, and Atomic Blonde has um, Charlize Theron playing an undercover MI6 agent who was sent to Berlin during the Cold War to investigate the murder of a fellow agent and recover a missing list of double agents. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> Excuse me. And I want to be really excited about this, guys, and I want, I just, I really, I'm watching the trailer, and it looks kinetic, and it looks, you know, it looks, uh, the action looks really sharp, but something about this is, oh, this is a comic book adaptation. Bet you didn't know that. It's uh, based on the Oni Press graphic novel series. So this is actually a comic book film. But I'm watching it, and something about it is underwhelming me. I don't know, um, you know, because you have the action and the, the, I hate to say it, stereotypical lesbian thing. Or, oh, she's a tough chick, so obviously she has to be a lesbian. That's just, you know, it's just to get male asses in the seats. And I just, I don't, I don't know, man. It just, it just strikes me as kind of fake. But, you know, that's, they want to do what they want to do. Um, but the premise is, seems kind of interesting, and the cast is really strong. I mean, you've got John Goodman in here. You know, you, like I said, James McAvoy. you got Char Charlize Theron. And um, that director, I mean, it's... By all by all accounts, it should be exciting, but I just something about this I'm not feeling. I, I know that I'm the only one out there that's, that's feeling this way right now because everybody seems really excited about it. But this film is coming out pretty soon. It's coming out this July, uh, July twenty eighth, twenty seventeen, uh, as of right now. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I'm. Th I know this is a really short review because I just I I'm watching it. I'm just I not something about it i'm just not that excited um you know i'll see it and hopefully i'm wrong but we'll see sound off in the comments below if you think i'm crazy uh you know what you if you're excited about it let me know i think that uh it's a like i said it's a modestly budget film so i think it's has a good chance of um being a pretty good size hit